Right. God, oh, this is a... <laughs> this is a, a cabin and a half. Look at the look at the wing on this. I mean, the Suzuki's pretty good as well, isn't it? Uh, they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good. Uh, the, oh, someone was asking about the horn. I've got the spooky one. I don't even remember where I got it from, but... There we go. Right, to the interior view once more. Oh, you got your, like, your little Xbox avatar hanging on the uh, side bit on the roll cage or whatever. Uh, I forgot about having those in the uh, in the cars. It's really claustrophobic in here. I would like to... Oh, I, I, I say that. As far as race cars go, I mean, race cars are hardly whoa, best known for comfort and spaciousness, but this, this does feel quite claustrophobic even for a race car. I mean, it's practically an LMP car built for driving on snow, dirt, very quickly. So, yeah. It's a weird contraption. I had a feeling I saw a Hyundai badge on the nose. In fact, it was a Reese Millen car, wasn't it? So it might have actually been a uh, Hyundai kind of concept thing, because he was sponsored by them at one point. I don't know if he still is. Uh, there we go. Oh! oh, it's probably Hyundai going for a record up Pikes Peak one year. Like, every year somebody else goes for the record um, up Pikes Peak. Is it Mercedes going for it? Someone's going for it this year with, like, electric cars and so on. But... Uh, yeah, there's always someone that goes for it. Peugeot did it with the 208 T16, I believe. Yeah, there's always some lunatic going for it as a PR stunt. We've not rolled. We've crashed, but we haven't rolled. Uh, we, we roll, we'll crash, but only a little bit. So that's fine. That's fine. Um, I, I, I apologize, chat, again, as ever with, with racing games. Uh, my ability to look at chat while especially driving these sort of machines is nigh on impossible. There is <laughs> little chance that uh, that I'm going to be able to... Oh, wrong button. Wrong button for all that. I'm going to be able to keep an eye on, on chat. I'm stuffing up my gear changes. Something rotten here. Uh, we are still leading, but we are, of course, only the third car to go. So we don't really know how we're doing in comparison to those further back. Why is there a toll booth on a rally stage? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, someone's going to hit that. I'm just glad it wasn't me. Oh, this is the one with the, the Lilyhammer bobsleigh course. Because I remember there was like a special uh, event, of course, where you race against a bobsleigh in a rally car. Um, yeah, this is part of that road, at least. I feel like it would have been interesting if Top Gear had taken one of these cars against the bobsleigh. I mean... <laughs> These things are, well, I say unbelievably fast. I don't know how on earth they deal with snow. I don't know how much difference you'd need to sort of change the setup in them to uh, get them to be even vaguely drivable. We're a couple of seconds clear of Pokecraft. We've kind of kept that gap ever since our uh, little off. You can kind of judge how you're doing based on the gaps to certainly the car ahead of you and behind you on the uh, little sidebar. So the car that's behind us, we're a long, long way clear of. But everybody further back than that don't really know. Don't really know. Don't hit that. I have no doubt. Again, not that I can look at chat, but I have no doubt you guys were adding on to the roll counter for my uh, skid along the door. Thankfully, that has been the only only skid along the door. Aside from being bullied in the minis, which is kind of the point of cat and mouse, uh, we have actually managed to keep all of our cars on their wheels. I've hit a few snowbanks because my precision is awful uh, these days, it seems. Uh, however, we have... Uh, oh, where's the finish line? Is it up through here? Yep, that's it. Just keep your foot down and we're good. Stop adding stuff on the roll, chats, you you sneaky buggers. Uh, not that it really matters, let's face it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so far, we are the fastest. We actually made some, some good time in that. I did have a good final sector. I was pleased with that one. Uh, our... PM5, PM580 is hardly the most exciting name in the entire world. Um, so there we go. Oh, oh, Stig, you destroyed your Tacoma in all of that. Um, that was an impressive finish. Someone finished on their side. I think that was Gliska. Uh, Nine Tails is going to come along and absolutely murder all of our times. Hash Brown has also gone faster. Uh, Kendrick is the uh, last one to finish. Yeah, my my moment on my side skidding along the road um, probably cost me second here. I don't even know if um, had I had I had a clean run, I could have got near Nine Tails' run. That was. Uh, a, a damn, a damn fast run up all of that. 
Uh, oh, we're going off second this time around. Not going to have too much time to look at the front of our car if we're going off um, second. <laughs> kind of looks very sad. Kind of looks like a slightly deflated Le Mans car. Kind of looks like I imagine the Toyota Le Mans cars looked um, after last year. Just that slightly deflated, it's all gone horribly wrong. And this is before we've even set off. Uh, <laughs> so basically what we're driving here is a saddened Toyota uh, around Michigan. We very, very nearly rolled our sad Toyota and that was a line. I mean... Wasn't a very good one, but it was it was a line. Uh, I remember I remember this start to the uh, to the circuit. I don't really remember much after it. Uh, like I, I remember I remember going around those those corners and you know this where you try to find speed and so on. But uh, I don't remember much of the rest of the stage. Oh, there's a gear in there somewhere. Oh, we're on the tarmac. I didn't even see if we were leading. I think we were. There's kind of no real time to do anything with these cars. None. Just, just nothing in terms of the time to uh, even contemplate looking at uh, anything. Are we leading? Yeah, by a second and a half. Not by a huge margin, but that's still quite, uh, that's still quite nice. You know, won't complain too much at, uh, at that. Oh, I should have been flat through there, I think. Should have been braver. This is actually quite a short stage that, uh, that we've got going on. Uh, oh, we found another half a second. In all of that, uh, it's got some good grip about it. I should have been braver in those earlier. Those earlier corners will have cost me, I think, a chance of a victory. I was just too cowardly in the car. Uh, oh, <laughs> I didn't live through there. I should have done. Oh, there's a finish line. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Tom Clee, thank you very much for the uh, for the subscription a rolled car salute for you good timing as we uh, just crossed the finish line to see that um oh, i stayed ahead of stig but only by a fraction of a second uh, chris welcome to the uh, to the stream now we wait for um wait for the well rest of the cars hash brown didn't have a good run that time around, 140.1, so I should move ahead of him overall. Oh, the Mustangs crashed! The Mustangs binded on the final corner! I've beaten Nine Tails! Admittedly, he was only two seconds down on me, having binned it on the final corner and having to grab reverse. Admittedly, I did kind of bin it on the final corner as well, but uh, <laughs> we might take a win! It's taken us an hour. It has taken us an hour, but. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Uh, don't know who that was who just came across. We're still waiting for Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick's glitched his way into a somebody Chevrolet. Kendrick's not having a good time. Uh, <laughs> oh, we took a victory. We took a victory. I mean, it's going to put us ahead of Hash Brown. I think this... Oh, I say I think. Uh, yes, it does do it properly, like a proper rally. Why has my car got a growth on the side of it? Don't ask, we should probably go and see a doctor about it. Uh, <laughs> don't, if we, if we'll pretend it's not there and all will be fine. It's not not good medical advice from me, let's be honest here. However, <laughs> um, yeah, a set of Corsa is something that uh, I will probably probably be doing more of, along with Project Cars and iRacing and Wreckfest and, uh, and, and all, of, um, all of that. Right, we have got a... Uh, Fiesta, I think, heading uh, heading off ahead of us. Uh, whether we can chase anybody down after the terrifying scare at uh, Ken I think it was the Kenyan Rally stage where Stig launched his car off a cattle grade. We haven't really seen any uh, any other cars. Oh, this is Finland, isn't it? So it's going to be fast and flying. I mean, that's the uh, <laughs> that's the finish the Finnish rallies for you. Uh, we are, oh, we are leading. Oh, I thought that was a lot tighter corner than it was. Well, I think certainly my chance of beating Ninetales are unlikely unless he has another really big crash. Ugh. He's a, I thought Finland was quick. I thought we were supposed to have, you know, lots of really fun. This is apparently a really twisty stage for uh, for these sort of cars. Are we still leading? No, Hash Brown has got ahead of me and will continue to get ahead of me if I throw the car off the course like that. 
Christ, this is a really nasty stage. <laughs> Apparently my skills have, uh, I say have evaporated. Uh, somebody's dropped a bit of their car. I say dropped. Lost. Uh, <laughs> Unintentionally, unattention, uh, in un, unintentional relocation of parts. Hey, we're back up. I guess it was probably Hash Brown's parts that uh, have fallen off on the road. Be careful of the ditches, because I remember the ditches are mean around Finland. Uh, there's some almost some sliding. The Fiesta's lost their mighty wing. <laughs> maybe it was the Fiesta's. I assume the Fiesta had a mighty wing to begin with, at least. As um, oh, no, maybe it has it. Maybe it's just the render distance is confusing. Oh, there was a. Oh, that was it. There was one jump in Finland. What's going on? We were the quickest. Uh, we were clear of the two Fiestas. It's all about what Ninetales is going to do. Or oh, if anybody can go considerably faster than me. Um, down this... Uh, down this stage. That was... Uh, Kendrick? Kendrick got a good run, good run. Better run that time. Oh, I beat Ninetales by two seconds. It's actually going to be really close, I think, between us. I think he's got it. Oh, Stig took a victory. But it won't be enough to take an overall victory. It's how close is it going to be um, between... Oh, Pokecraft got up there as well. It's a very, very close finish between us top three. Okay, what is that going to do to the overall? That is the question. Oh, is the stream broken? Oh, Ninetales won by half a second. Stream seems to be working on my end, okay. Uh, well played... Well played, Ninetales. I just couldn't... If I hadn't had a um, little bit of an off, that would have been... Uh, that would have been a shame. Oh, that would have been a shame. That would have been a win. Sorry, it's a shame. Well, I had a bit of an off. I didn't... I just a couple of corners. I wasn't as quick through as I could have been, ideally. Um, I am the mouse to begin to win this. Uh, for those of you that may be new to this stream, who uh, may be new to um, the Dirt series or to the game of... Um, cat and mouse. This race is technically between the minis. The other cars are not important. However, the cats, the fast cars back there, are going to try and stop us from making it to the destination by spinning our cars out, punting us into the scenery. Now, we should be playing the gentleman's agreements, i.e. the cats, the fast cars, won't attack the mouse in last. One of the mice just managed to murder them. Well done, good mice, sir, for managing to murder yourself entirely on your way up a hill. Like, these are not exactly the most quickest of cars. I'm doing well with the English. Admittedly, that one was a little bit deliberate. Uh, <laughs> these are not the quickest cars. I don't know <laughs> quite how you managed to twitch that one and uh, fall off of the road. Uh-oh! Bad times are about to be had for the Mini. You know what? You can go past. I'll do the old... Um, Oh god, was it is it Endor Brake? The old Star Wars nickname for the you know, stamp on the brakes, let the vehicle go past. And Because the chances are, if you're not the leader, they'll go past, they'll miss you, and then it's more important they go and chase down the leader. Unfortunately, this has put me into the lead. Oh, please screw over a Group B car. Bugger. I mean, kind of screwed over a Group B car a little bit. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, good sir. Would you be interested in maybe going for a different Mini? I'm not the Mini you were looking for. That Mini is... A long way in the other direction. Hello, Ford. Um, oh, there's the mini you're interested in. Not me. Don't go for me. No, I'm not the mini. I am. I am sneaky mini. Oh, that 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 mini was more sneaky than me. <laughs> it snuck its way all the way off the screen, upside down on its roof. Hello, Ford. Oh, hello, tree. That's not gone so well for me, is it? Uh, <laughs> oh, bloody hell! I think Stick managed to kill me. <laughs> so that was. <laughs> That was slightly my bad for pulling out into the middle of traffic. Uh, not the cleverest thing I have ever done in existence ever. Uh, <laughs> that was a, that was a big crash. That was a very big crash. Uh, purple, <laughs> purple was taking the uh, just taking the scenic route there. I'm not sure which cat managed to fire him up that rock, but well played, whoever it was. Just just well played. No, you. But I've spun out the Audi, but unfortunately. No. No. Bad Audi. I mean, there's no real advantages in, in hitting us two when we're back here. We're not challenging for the lead. You're much better off just go and chase down the cars at the front. 
to be fair, in a game of cat and mouse, I think you probably want slightly slower mice in comparison to the to the cats. It tends to balance it out the best. Oh, I think blue team just murdered their own mini. <laughs> Mini on mini friendly fire took place right then. Uh, that was quite impressive. Well, I might try and return the favour. Mini on mini friendly fire. Go on. Go on. Mini. No, oh, it might return. It might, it might end up getting karmered. I have been karmered. Not by the mini, but by the quattro. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. I'm just going to play over here. I didn't want to be on the road anyway. This game was good fun. I've missed Cat and Mouse. And I have to say, outside of PGR, this is the best I've seen a Cat and Mouse game mode work. Uh, <laughs> Ow! No, more, more, more minis uh, bullying each other, slash me. Mostly me, let's be honest here. Uh, there is... <laughs> oh, that's too good an opportunity to miss. I actually just went underneath it. I probably shouldn't have. Oh, we've still got a, few, like a sector to go. No, you can go in the wall. Oh, no! We've both managed to just crash into other cats. Uh-oh. Uh, yellow's leading. Go bully yellow. Where the hell is my red teammate? I don't know. Red teammate's up ahead. Uh... <laughs> Oh, cars have got reset. Uh, red teammate, stop the mean Peugeots. Please stop the mean Peugeots. The mean Peugeots have not been stopped. Uh, we've gone around in a circle, and we will do the make dust tactic and hope no one can see us to hit us. Uh-oh, there's a lot of cars here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm leader. No, no. <laughs> well, I mean, I want to lead naturally, but I also don't want to be... Uh, bullied by everything. Oh, I could... <laughs> you can dodge one doing that. You can't really dodge all of them. Cry. This has actually been a really close game. Uh, <laughs> this has been a really, really close race of cat and mouse, which is what you want to see at the end of the day. Uh, we are at the back. I think there is a cat behind us. But uh, that shouldn't give us any trouble. We will give it plenty of space. I mean, we don't want to give it an excuse to uh, bump into us. But yeah, it's unlikely to really be fussed about our... Uh, our vehicle, much like the purple car that's been reset. Uh, Purple's lost a lot of ground to his own uh, mouse, so he's going to want to go chasing after that to try and uh, try and protect it. Come on, you're not doing the gentleman's agreement rules there. You're a twonk, and you've ended up on the roof like you deserved to be. Now that's Karma in action right there. Well played, well played Karma. Uh, Blue, actually perfectly within their right to try and defend by uh, swatting the incoming minis, so... Oh, apparently that was too much of a shortcut. Well, I mean, it was worth a try. Uh, now, there is no gentleman's agreement between us minis, so we can take each other out for these positions if we uh, if we so wish. Uh, oh, it's going to get a little bit bumpy down here. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to end up third. Oh, we might end up second if Purple's in a lot of trouble. Where the hell is the finish line? Oh, there's the finish line. A bunch of cars have made it. Hey, you know what? We got second. We got a second place, not as good as it could have been. However, however, much better than uh, <laughs> we have done previously. Uh, since we came fourth both times in the last Cat and Mouse games. Either way, we're going to have to try and uh, work our way, uh, work our way to a, maybe a victory even in Cat and Mouse. Me and Stig have. Uh, have got some work to be uh, work to be doing here now. If I can go and torpedo a certain yellow mouse, oh, I should have gone for it. Well, <laughs> didn't need to torpedo a certain yellow mouse. A certain yellow mouse took himself out very well on his own. Now it is my job to defend. Uh, we've actually got a pretty much perfect situation here. Uh, we are leading the way. I am the cat behind my mouse. We can try and give it a bit of a bump. I don't actually know if pushing works in this game. Uh, and then we kind of go for the takeout incoming cats. Like that. Now, they won't all go quite that easily. Let's be honest here. They are not likely to uh, all go quite so uh, so easily. But if I can distract even the cats just attacking me. If I can make the cats attack me rather than uh, than attack the mouse. That's all good. Ah, good. Good move from yellow. I was hoping I was tightened off to the corner. They couldn't get the nose up the inside. Uh, do apologise, Stig. You're probably about to get murdered uh, if you haven't been already. Uh <laughs> I tried. I did try my very bestest. Um, oh, I actually done a really good job of recovering. He has done a really good job of recovering. Oh, I thought about going for the blue mini. Again, while, yeah, there is gentleman agreements in place not to attack the car in last. The car in second is perfectly fair game, especially when we are leading the way. Can we just 
but uh, we have not really pushed him wide enough. Didn't really get the kind of the transfer of momentum through that that I wanted to. So <laughs> we're going to go and sit in a, uh, well, I say in a second place. We're going to sit in the guard position and uh, deal with the RS-200. I'm hoping, ah, oh, he's not spun himself with me. Uh, <laughs> crap, there's two on you now, Stig. Run, run away. Oh, there's a purple mini. Oh, how did you do that? How? Okay, that, that was not the... Uh, RS200 with no momentum. That was a different a different car that did have momentum. That would explain how they managed to do that one. Um, Stig, I'm very sorry. There is no defense. There is no cover going on now. Um, oh, that's not really helped, has it? We've kind of just got connected. Uh, there was a little bit of laggy physics went on there between the pair of our cars. I kind of had hoped to spin him and sort of just punt him well clear, but it didn't really happen. Uh, do I... Oh no, as I say, do I forego trying to sort of protect Stig and go after the second place Mies? However, it's not really going to uh, to happen. They've all kind of bundled on Stig in the corner, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, unfortunately, this is the final lap. Should have stuck it on two laps. We would have been fine. Uh, I've got to do some good, some good cat work right here. Some good, good cat work at getting this blue car stuck somewhere. Or really create a big enough mess that both the um, both the blue car and the purple car get stuck. In the end, we've been spun by one. Where is the purple? Ah, oh, purple have got some cover with them as well. And I was looking back to see where my car was and didn't see the RS200 braking. Every time we just get screwed over at the very end. Every time... Or I say every time. The last two or two of the races where Stig was the uh, was the Mies, he got stuffed over on the final lap with uh, little in the way of um, options. If that mini has not gone flying, I'm going to be really annoyed. Uh, how did that survive? How did I go pointing backwards and the mini not get? I don't. That doesn't make any sense. None of the sense was made in that. At least we didn't get last. That is a small consolation. Uh, <sighs> Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. It was a good race. I don't know what happened to Purple at the very end. Purple got, I think, screwed over on the run to the... Uh, on the run to the, uh, to the finish line.